lemon like uh, um, Dr. Abbott did mention earlier, it, it's one of the lower grade or or not so aggressive cancers. So the results after if if, if someone has peritoneal disease amenable to HIPEC and CRS, uh, and we we achieve. Uh, a good operation, which means we are able to get all the disease out visibly that we can, and 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 do the effective chemotherapy. Then then the survival is is pretty good. Uh, the recurrence rate is pretty low with 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 that. I would say maybe um, I I don't like to give out numbers uh, as that, but you know maybe like less than three to five percent in five years. I don't know Dan if you agree with that, but. Um, the other part of the question was, uh, can you remind me again, what was that? The other, the, the studies that show it being aggressive to treat, what is your opinion on the aggressiveness of HIPEC to treat LAMN? Yeah, so that, I guess, points to our earlier question as well. Uh, it, there is some controversy around it and it depends on, on the disease. So it is okay to watch these if it's just, if it's just an appendix and that's out, then that's fine. If it's just localized, uh, you, you may or may not uh, want to watch that or do um, aggressive side reductive surgery. A lot of times we do uh, have this discussion with the patients and a lot of factors go into that. Um, so I guess the jury is still out what the right approach is, but for lamins, it, it's, it's, it's slow growing. So The recurrence rate is pretty dependent on the original volume of disease. If someone just has very localized disease next to the appendix, then the, the chance of it coming back is much lower than if someone has the spread of that mucin all over the abdominal cavity, and in which case the chance of that coming back is probably somewhere around the order of 70 to 80 percent at five years versus someone with limited disease, that chance is more like 20 to 30 percent at five years. And so it can be a huge range that is very dependent on the extent of disease in the first place. I think the second um, point is, and, and this is also frustrating for patients, is this is a really rare problem, right? We do not have 50,000 of these patients around where we can do high quality studies like we can, like we do in breast cancer or ovarian cancer, where we can say, we, we have one group of patients that we don't do high pec and one group of patients that we do and have a really clear answer. There have been some studies recently out of Europe that has, have looked uh, with high quality at using this for colorectal cancer, but for LAMN, it's, it's oftentimes single center or at best a multi-institutional experience, but not in a randomized, you know, placebo-controlled way. And so the, the, we have to understand the level of evidence to support this practice is not what anybody would like it to be. But we do, as I said, we do have, you know, single institution series from really high volume surgeons who've been doing this for 30 years, Dr. Sugar Baker and, and more, that suggest that adding HIPEC to cytoreductive surgery for these appendiceal neoplasms does portend a better survival. But it, we, we have to be very frank in that the level of evidence to support that is not what we would like.